Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Now, who could that be at my door right now? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh. Well, hello there. I haven't seen you around. Are you new around here? Oh, you're not from the ring. Oh, I see you now. Well, all right. Well, come in. Come in. So, what do you need from me? Because I am a little busy right now, and according to, well, my advisory, I have plenty of people to be working at the uh, lounge as of recently. So, if it isn't about business or anything like that, then why are you here? Oh, you're from the Pride Ring. Did Lucifer send you? Really? Oh, well. Ain't that something? I haven't heard from that short little pip squeaking in quite a while. After all, he did do that little uh, thing with that uh, human girl. And I know that was a sin and that was the reason why he's down here and all. But I'm not trying to get into his personal life. What are you doing here exactly, and why did Lucifer send you down to me? Oh, right. Yeah, um, I did kind of give a prince one of my stones, and they do open portals. But I would never think that they would open a portal to the human world or use it for, like, you know, unethical reasons. Why do you bring that up, though? Did something happen? Oh, yeah, I did see something on the news about that. How there's a human up in the pride ring right now. Man, that's a whole bunch of just... Messing this, ain't it? <laughs> oh, sh shit, that's you? Oh, well, I didn't really, huh. I didn't know that. Uh, apologies. No, 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 it was all my fault. I See, I didn't really sense any type of human energy coming off of you. How, what, how does that work? And how did it happen exactly? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> so you're telling me that you fell right into Lucifer's lap, huh? <laughs> well, ain't that just something? Tell me, was he doing a little bit of the, you know... You know, you, well, you, you know, was he doing anything, huh? Come on, I want to get some dirty deets on that little man, huh? So, what happened? Oh, you broke his table? Well, I didn't know Lucifer would be such a rough man. Oh, you fell, oh, oh, you just fell on the table, oh. Well, that's no fun. I thought you and little Lucy Lou over there were getting it on. Well, I mean, anybody would be happy to do it with Lucifer Morningstar. I mean, after all, he is kind of the king of hell. And one of the pride sin 
He's a he's a sin of pride. So I mean, he could make you quite happy. All right, all right. I'll stop talking about that whole business. So, you fell into his room. Nothing really naughty happened. And you just had a conversation. And how long have you been down here? A few months. I'm surprised you're not burnt to a crisp, but, you know, someone killed you already. Yeah, you are causing quite a stir up in hell right now. From what the news says, they're calling you Hell's Wanderer. Now I can tell you that's one badass nickname. And it could be your performance name too, if you ever want to have a job. Yeah, I'm always looking for more performers for my lustful lounge. I mean, after all, most of my performance, uh, well... Most of my performance went down a few notches ever since that little, uh, incident happened with the prince and bringing an imp down. You know, his credibility kind of went down a lot after that went public. And my lustful lounge was a part of that. And I'm trying to rebuild its, uh, branding and whatnot to make sure that everybody gets checked at the door before they get into the lounge. And they have to have invitations to said lounge otherwise they would not come in and but for you I think I can make some exceptions you know like MVP tickets and whatnot and invitations and plus if some people wa see me walking in with the human in hell you know hell's wanderer <laughs> I feel like that could be some good publicity for me. So, how long are you going to be down here in my ring? Just a question. Yeah, well, I mean, portals can be opened and whatnot. So, I mean, if you're going to be down here for like maybe a day or two, I can set you up real fancy now. I can get you a new clothes, I can get you a room to sleep in, I can get you all sorts of women or men, whatever you're into. I can make you all sorts of comfortable. I mean, as a sin myself, I can do basically anything. Within my own powers, that is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you do have one of the more powerful sins on your side. So, I mean, I'm not really expecting you to stay down here. I mean, you might be sleeping in that king's little throne room or whatever he has. I don't know. Look, all I'm saying is, if you get bored of the king of hell, you could always come down to my circle and I could treat you just right. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You see, I already have a little partner with me. And they're a little... Uh, well, let's just say they're an ex-performer for a certain person who's up in the greed ring. And that fat bastard has always fucked over my little uh, partner for a long time. So, he stopped working there. He quit. And now he works for me. Yeah, well, I mean, we both work at the same place, so why not? And I mean, after all, with everything going according to plan, I'm pretty sure I can bring that fat bastard, and Christmas tree looking motherfucker, he could go right in another circle of all I care. I could bring him down a few notches and bring his economy down with it. Because now I have his best performer, I don't think he's going to make a lot more money.
Uh-huh. Right, 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 right. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself talking about my own stuff. Your whole circle thing. Yeah, I don't think that was my circles, or at least my magic. You might want to talk to, uh, oh, my little birdie friend, Stolas. He might have something to do with that because, well, his little imp buddies have a little, uh, oh, what is it, a company? Yeah, they do, like, assassinations or whatnot. I don't get into that messy stuff. You see, I'm all about lust because, well, <laughs> I'm the sin of lust. But that's besides the point. I think you might want to set up a meeting with Stolis first, and then you might get somewhere with the whole portal opening thing. All right, babes. All right. Well, I have lots of paperwork to do. Oh, hold on. I got a phone call. Give me a sec. Hello? Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> when are you coming home? <laughs> Froggy, what if I told you about calling my business phone? Just wait until I get home, hon. And then afterwards, I'll treat you with something real nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I hope you find your way out nicely. The door's right there. Of course, of course. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>